This is a jam-packed question, I'm not gonna lie, guys. And this is the first time I'm teaching it this way. So I guess that's what we do as educators, right? Try to take a risk, trial and error, and see if it works. So it's either really gonna confuse you, or, or, you're gonna get it so well that you're gonna end up liking and subscribing. Well, let's go find out. We're gonna graph this quadratic equation right here and learn some vocabulary on the way. So you will usually never see it in this version when you're doing quadratic equations. I just wanted to teach it differently, but this is called its factored form. You're gonna learn that in the next section. We will end up distributing that to something you're familiar with, so let's wait till we get there. Let's start off with A, finding the roots and zeros. First of all, what the heck are those, right? Roots and zeros are points on the x-axis when you graph quadratic equations. And to get that, it's really easy. Let's call this red, and let's call this one blue. If it is in a factored form, or they're in parentheses like that, all you gotta do is take each factor, or each parentheses, and set it equal to zero. Let's start off with the red. We're gonna put x minus one equals zero. So just take what's in the parentheses again, set it equal to zero, and get x by itself. Super easy. All you gotta do is add a one and x equals one. So that is one point that I can create on my quadratic equation that I will put on the x-axis, which is right here. I'm gonna label that my roots. To get another point, we just take the second parentheses, the one in blue, and we do the same thing. x plus five equals zero. Get x by itself. Just one step and you get x equals negative five. Here's my other point, And this time we'll call it zero. That way you're familiar with both words. Not too bad. Here's where the bulk of the work is gonna be done. To find the vertex, we're gonna take this equation right here and distribute those parentheses. Let me just rewrite it. You learned this in the previous chapter and I just distribute twice like that. x times x is x squared, x times five is five x, and then you start with the negative one times x, negative one x, negative one times five is negative five. I just like to combine like terms up and down just because it's easier to organize. We end up getting y equals x squared plus four x minus five. And once you have it like that, that quadratic equation, they'll usually label the coefficients and the constants with these letters. They'll call this one A, the one next to X squared. They'll call this one B, the one next to X, and the constant C, the number without a variable. And we're gonna use those numbers into a vertex formula. The vertex formula is X equals negative B over two A. That's why we labeled it A, B, and C and you just gotta substitute the values so you get x equals, I always just put parentheses like this and then I put the numbers in because sometimes you'll get a double negative and you might forget. Now I'll put the numbers in, my b is four, my a is one, and that just becomes negative four over two, which equals negative two. Do not plot it on the x-axis at negative two. You need an actual coordinate for the vertex but I don't have a coordinate, all I got is an x value. So take a wild guess how you find your y value. If you were thinking of plugging that in, then we are on the same page. So just plug in this negative two for x. Sometimes your calculator, you need to set parentheses to put in the negative two, especially if you have those TI 83, 84. Just put in parentheses. And also, don't forget that there's two x's that you're going to have to replace. When I set that up, that's gonna be y equals one times negative two squared. Just put the parentheses here to avoid mistakes. Plus four times negative two. We're using the same value for x. Don't forget, you gotta plug that in twice. We're in quadratics now, big boy problems. Minus five, and you get y. If you simplify that, that's just four minus eight minus five y equals negative nine. Now I have a coordinate for my vertex. My vertex is negative two and negative nine. So that's a third point that I can put on my quadratic equation. 
Here's an easy way to remember the word vertex. Vertex starts with the letter V, and right in the middle of that parabola is your vertex. So if I go to negative 2, that's right in the middle of my parabola. The coordinate was negative 2, negative 9, which is over there. And the last question, what is the y-intercept? So the beauty about math is that patterns appear everywhere. We did linear equations and we learned that the y-intercept is just a number by itself. Well, guess what guys? That is the same in a quadratic equation. This constant, the number by itself, when it is in this format, is also your y-intercept. So that's not that bad to remember. My y-intercept is going to be negative five, and that is another point that I can put on my parabola. Now we just got to think about constellations like the stars, connect the dots, and we got ourselves our graph for our quadratic equation. If you connect the dots, it makes no sense that it's going to go this way because I have to connect the dots. So it's going to look something like this. It's not too bad. Uh, kind of missed the y-intercept there, but you get the point. That is just a jam-packed problem, but... I wanted to teach it differently because it's going to set you up for the next sections because now you know what the vocabulary is, you know what factor form is when it's put into two parentheses like that. Zeros and roots are the points on the x-axis. I forgot to answer one of the questions. Is this vertex a maximum or a minimum? Well, it's at a lowest spot, right? So my vertex is going to be a minimum, the lowest point of my graph. And the y-intercept, that one's easier to remember. It's just a constant or the one without a variable if it's in this format right here. I'll run through another question like this, but that's going to be on the next episode. And if this helped, throw a like, a subscribe. I will help you out throughout the year and make sure that I see you on the next episode. Peace.